What's up, everyone? So, long weekend, but do want to catch up with some Star Citizen news to kind of give you a little bit of update of what's going on. So, over the weekend, the Evocati did run a test where they actually were able to use the jump gate. Uh, they also increased the server limit for players on it to 400. So, it had a lot of, of course, issues with the amount of people on it, but I think they were saying that it's actually for not necessarily to stress test it, but just to kind of see what their limits of everything currently are. But as far as the jump gates, they did work. They were allowing players to go from Stanton to Pyro, and the server meshing part of it went through without any issues. Everything said that they worked out very, very well. There were some things with the jump gates. If you didn't line up pretty much perfectly, it didn't work at all, and it was just basically shooting players out some set up to 50 kilometers out of the way but of course it's kind of a test that's why they do it the other thing with the jump gates is they weren't really fully visualized it didn't have all the textures and details and everything on it basically they were described as a uh, great colon in essence so hopefully that is a good sign that everything's working well with it. Like I said, a lot of people were able to go from one server to the other without any issue at all and be able to actually do that with the replication layer and everything it is a great feat. I hope that it kind of keeps moving along, gets everything going well. Of course, like I said, they did up it to a 400 player count. There were quite a few lag issues and everything according to what I have seen, but and still, it's great news with everything. Some other stuff that's going on. There was a patch today. 322.1 EPTU patch. It is available to all backers. Um, basically, they're just doing a general stability test for the Overdrive event that they're going to be pushing out to live later this week. The weekly plan for this week in Star Citizen actually out as well. Uh, of course, tomorrow with the lore post, they're doing a Whitley's Guide with the Origin 890 jump. Uh, Wednesday will actually start the Stella Fortuna or St. Patrick's Day events, as well as the uh, February 2024 Squadron 42 monthly report it will be put in the comm link. Thursday we'll see the Inside the Star Citizen character customizer, which definitely looking forward to that. Can't wait to be able to let or kind of see what they uh, have gotten on that, do more of a deep dive in it, because it's definitely going to be, I think, very very nice to be able to have your own character customize it and actually i think they said that it's possible that they're going to set up to where it'll save the character i don't know if that'll be implemented at first i know they mentioned to being able to do it in the future but hey if it is that's even better the overdrive event is also going to start on thursday and then on friday we're going to have a star citizen live with the S fps combat q a and they're actually already looking for some uh, questions that you can go on to Spectrum and send some questions into them. And Friday will also send out the weekly newsletter to it as well. But that's all that I have actually for you today. I'm working on a couple of different videos. One for like a kind of a racing and star sis and a couple for different jobs. And uh, some reputation type stuff as well as maybe getting into some lore type uh, videos as well but let me know what you think in the comments down below and i'll catch you in the next one